Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'll be trying out the Jung Senmul. Jung Senmul. Um, cushion foundation. If you don't know, Jung Zimmer is a really famous makeup artist here in Korea. She did makeup for lots of celebrities. I watch all of her YouTube videos and learn makeup through her. And I heard really great things about this cushion foundation. So I wanted to try it out. I have been eyeing this product for a really long time. And I just didn't have the opportunity to try it. But now I do, so let's try it out. Alright, so this is the Chang Zemur Essential Skin Neuter Long Wear Cushion. It has whitening effect, wrinkle care, and anti-UV ray. Um, it has SPF 50 plus, PA plus plus plus. So this cushion claims that it has a matte finish. It's moisturizing and gives radiant to the skin. This cushion also has a silicone coating which helps makeup to last longer and not fade away. Um, on the direction it says apply by pressing the puff into a moistened sponge and pat the puff onto the face. I think this is the first product where I noticed that it's telling the user to use a wet sponge so I'm going to do that. Okay so it comes like this. This is how the cushion looks like and again it comes with the refill. It's just all black inside. This is how the cushion looks. Feels really different. Like it doesn't feel as porous as the other cushions. I don't know. But I'm gonna wet it and see how that applies. Or maybe, actually, no, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna apply it dry first, and then maybe tomorrow I will apply it wet just to see how it applies. I know it says to apply wet, but I wanna do like a little experiment. All right, so let's take off the seal. All right, let's just apply it. I don't have any primer. I just have a really nice moisturizer on. Let's pull back the hair and apply it. Go in with the first dab. Mm. Got a pretty good amount. So this is what we're working with. I have like red spot, discoloration. Okay, let's see if this will cover everything. Wow, that looks really nice. Okay, I'm gonna grab some more product. Let's apply it down here. Mm -hmm. Now the color is really, really nice. It matches perfectly. Oh, I didn't even tell you what color I got. I got the shade light. It feels pretty lightweight. It just looks, it just feels like, like I apply like a moisturizer. It doesn't feel too heavy. It actually did a really good job covering everything. Impressive. All right, I'm gonna apply this side, but I'm gonna zoom you in closer so you could get a better look. Okay, here we go. Alright, so I applied it all over my face. I think the color is a really good match, so that is good. So far, I like it. I really, really like it. I like the finish. I like how my skin looks. It feels very comfortable. I'm just gonna say that much because I wanna tell you how I actually feel at the end of the video, but it looks pretty good. So I'm gonna finish the rest of my makeup and let's just wear this all day. It is currently 10.39 and I'm probably gonna wear this for more than 12 hours. So let's see how it does. Um, I'm not gonna apply any powder. I didn't even apply a primer, so we're just testing as is. Okay, all right, so it is end of the night. It is currently 12.35 a.m. I had a very, very long night, and I just wanted to show you how it looks. Let me tell you, it. I was so shocked because I've never experienced cushion like this. Um, so first of all, this is how my face looks right now. Not so cute at all. And, you know, you might be thinking, oh, like, it's the mask. This 
This is how my forehead looks. I am a complete grease ball. And yes, I've worn this for a really long time, but it started doing this after like, I wanna say like five hours into wearing this foundation. So, so far, not a good first impression. I don't know, I think um, when I try this on again tomorrow, I'm gonna apply a primer, I'm gonna apply a setting powder, and I'm gonna set it with a mist, and then we'll see how it goes, but so far, it's not looking too cute. Hmm. All right, so this is day two of trying out Chung Moore's cushion foundation. The first time we tried this yesterday didn't go so well. So let's see if day two is better. All right, so first I'm going to apply primer, you know, have a nice base layer for the foundation. I know I say this a lot, but I really feel like I need a new <laughs> primer. I mean, this one's great, but I should go out and try out some other primer. Um, The other day I was at Gucci store and the lady was trying to sell me $70 primer and like, yes, it was amazing. The primer was amazing, but like, I got no $70 to just slap on my face, you know? So I didn't. I didn't get that, but damn, if I had money, I would I would pull out $70 and purchase that right away. Okay, primer's on, has a little stickiness to it, so hopefully the foundation will, will stick. I have my foundation. Alright, so this time I'm gonna wet the sponge like it said on the direction. I'm gonna use the Bobbi Brown Primer Plus Hydrating 3-in-1 Setting Spray to wet my cushion puff that feels moistened enough let's just jump right in and apply it let's zoom in too uh, my skin is no different than yesterday you know i always thought that i had nice skin and then i look my skin in the camera and it's just like uh -uh, you do not have nice skin okay let's go in i forgot to mention the smell and it doesn't, it doesn't smell anything. I mean, it has like a very, very, very faint light floral scent to it, but you have to like, you know, put your nose in the product to really smell it. It is applying a lot lighter than yesterday. All right, so here's one side. I feel like when I apply the product with a dry sponge, it gave more of a coverage compared to applying the product with wet sponge. Okay, so this is the comparison. Um, let's apply this side now. Alright, so I applied it all over my face. I think like a white head is trying to like come out here and it's kind of product is kind of hanging around there i don't know if you could see that it's kind of emphasizing that and i don't know how i feel about that but maybe maybe i just need to exfoliate my skin because to be honest i haven't done that in a while so i applied the cushion foundation i'm now going to set it with a setting powder this is the laneige neo powder i actually don't set my foundation all over my face but today, oof, I'm going to set it all over my face. Alright, so this is how it looks with a setting powder. I'm getting a lot of dry patches and I don't know if it's because of me or is it because of the foundation. I don't know, this has never happened to me before. Like something's happening on my forehead right here. I don't know if the camera's picking up there, but you know, you could see like small dry patches around the area. Hmm. It could be my skin because like I said, I haven't exfoliated my skin in a really long time. I'll test it again off camera with my skin exfoliated and see how that works. I'm just gonna finish it off with applying a setting spray. If you know me, you know that I don't do any of these extra steps. I usually just put on the cushion foundation and I'm good to go. But just for this experiment, I'm putting it all and see how it works. So this is supposed to be hydrating, so hopefully it'll help with the dry patches. Hmm. Something's happening here as well. It's like creasing already. Oh my god, what's going on today? Makeup just don't want to stay on my skin. It just 
doesn't look good. I don't know what's happening. Uh, I'm gonna finish the rest of my makeup. Let me tell you what time it is. It is 2.09 p.m. I will probably wear this again all day through the night. I'll check back at the end of the day. All right, so I just came back home. It is 10 o'clock. Let me show you how the foundation did. Something's like going on around my chin area because it's, it's it keeps doing this. I don't know, this is not looking too good. Before it kind of, it looks, it looks okay. Um, this is the rest of my face. I'm gonna try again with exfoliating my skin and see if that helps, but. So this is the result of today's application. Hopefully it'll get better after I exfoliate my skin. Couple days since I've been using the Chang Zemur Essential Skin Neuter Longwear Cushion Foundation. Just to remind everyone, I'm in the color light. All right, so let me tell you what I think about this product. So as I mentioned before, or at least I think I did, a lot of people love this product. This is like their go-to product. This product has won lots of awards, but unfortunately, this just wasn't. For me, I've tried it with the primer, without a primer. I tried with a setting spray, setting powder, primer. I even exfoliated my skin to have a nice base to it. Um, I even wore it indoors for a couple hours without a mask on. And I did everything. I tried everything to make this product work for my skin, but it just it just didn't work. The application, the finish, the pigmentation, the coverage. I really love that it had a semi-matte finish. You know, it was matte yet it still gave that nice natural glow to the skin. Everything was beautiful. Like right after I applied it, I loved it. I was like, yes, this is the product. This is why everybody loves it. But as time passed, it just went downhill. Like it was just not it. It started clumping around my chin area, side of my nose, my forehead. This particular area, I don't know why, but like this area, it was just like clumping up. This was not long wearing. Uh, I mean like yes, it transferred onto the mask and I think most products do transfer onto the mask no matter you know how they claim that they use a new technology that won't transfer. But you know, let's be real, it will transfer its makeup. But like as I mentioned, the forehead, it just wouldn't stay on this area where I didn't have a mask on. It was just, you know, open into the world. And this product also made my T-zone very oily and my cheeks dry. So yes, I have combination skin, but I felt like this product really emphasized the oiliness and the dryness of my skin. So it was very uncomfortable to wear. I'm just really sad that this product didn't work for me because, because you know, Jung Zemmur, I respect her. I love her. I you know, I've learned makeup through her, I've watched all her videos. So like, that's why I really wanted this product to work for my skin, but unfortunately it didn't. I am considering trying other formulations from her brand, because maybe this formulation just didn't work for my skin. So I am open to try other products when I do have the chance, but this one, the long wear cushion, it just wasn't it. All right, so this was my review for Chang Zemmur Essential Skin Neuter Long Wear Cushion. I hope you enjoyed this video. 
please comment below what cushion I should try out next. I actually have a very, very special cushion that I'm gonna be trying out. So please subscribe. Um, it's gonna be a good one. I'm very excited to test it out. Like this video and I will see you in my next one.